Hi, second grade. Did you have fun yesterday doing some of that measuring? I did too. It's so much fun using different tools to help us measure, isn't it? Whether you're measuring your fish, measuring things around your house, I know you got practice using all of these rules for measurement that we're gonna continue using today. Let's take a peek at our learning target. I can measure the length of an object using different units. Now, yesterday we talked about some of these words, didn't we? We talked about measurement and how measuring helps us find how big something is. Well, in this case, in the work we're doing today, we're really thinking about the length of an object or how long that object is. Now, yesterday we used one unit. We use a, an inch tile. Today, our learning target tells us that we're gonna be using different units. Now remember, a unit is the tool we're using to measure. Now, we might be using tiles. We might be using other things you have around your house. So whether you're using a little kit that you got from your teacher, or you have things around your house that you want to use to measure. Maybe they're toothpicks. Maybe they are um, paper clips. Maybe you have little cubes around your house, or you have big cubes around your house. Or maybe you're using erasers to help you measure, or post-its to help you measure. You could use anything. Maybe you're even gonna use some um, Q-tips that you normally would clean your ears out with. You can use different things to help you measure. Now, I do wanna remind you that one of the things that we talk about here is using the same unit. So you can measure these all different ways, but make sure that your units are the same that you're using throughout that whole measuring time. So if I decide I'm gonna use paper clips, but I have two different sizes of paper clips, you see those okay? I've got jumbo paper clips that I love, and I have little paper clips. We would not use both of those because they're not the same size. The same thing goes for my favorite little cubes. I've got these cubes. These are the cubes that are similar to what you use in the classroom, right? But then I also have these little tiny cubes, which I love, but these are not the same size. So if I'm gonna measure cubes, I either need to use these cubes or these cubes, but not both. So when it talks about using different units, we are gonna use some different units, but I wanna make sure that when you're thinking about those units you're using, that you're mindful of those units being the same size and the same shape. And some of our units can be a little tricky, whether there are paper clips or our cubes or other things around your house. You don't wanna use one regular, one regular toothpick and then have a broken one for your other one. We wanna make sure that they're all the same size, same length, same shape. That is how we know there's a special unit. So, are you ready? We are curious, how long is this pencil? Now, you can use any tool you want after we use our tiles. So, I'm going to write the pencil is blank tiles long. Those one inch tiles we used to measure our fish yesterday or those little one inch squares that you guys got, got you cut up. I want you to use those first to measure this pencil. Now this pencil can be found on your worksheet it can be found, you can even probably measure a regular old pencil like what I've got. Look at my unsharpened one. It's the same size. So if you'd rather have a pencil at home and you find an unsharpened pencil from the other day's work, you can use that and measure that as well. Take a moment and measure that pencil. How many tiles long is it? And when you know I want you to put a thumb in front of your tummy. Ooh, how are you using your unit rules of measurement to help you? Where are you starting? Are you using the same unit? Are you 
Are you leaving any gaps? Are you overlapping? Are you going in a straight line? Remember to always look back at this and see, am I doing the right thing? Am I following those rules of measurement? Give me a thumbs up when you think you know how many tiles long that pencil is. All right, let's see. What did you do first? All right, you started at the eraser. Who else started at the eraser? Okay, and then what? You lined it up. Okay, leaving any gaps? Nope. Curve line? Nope. Am I overlapping? Nope. Do I have to keep going? This is taking forever. I do need to keep going. Yes. What do I need to do? Do I need to do another one? Why do I need to do another one? because I'm not to the tip yet. I gotta start at one end and I have to stop at another. So how many tiles long is my pencil? Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's the same size as Kim's fish. It is, my pencil is seven tiles long. Hmm. What if I used cubes? Not little cubes, but regular sized cubes. They're not the same exact size as my, as my one inch tiles. How many cubes long would my pencil be? Now remember, the pen, you can use a regular old unsharpened pencil this is the same size as what I'm showing you all. The same pencil up here is a size of an unsharpened pencil. See that? Okay, so you can use that to help you measure today. But this time we're gonna use cubes. I'm gonna give you a few moments. Remember, use those units of measure to help you. Or the rules of measurement our unit of measure is going to be our cube. The pencil is blank cubes long. Thumbs up around your tummies when you're ready. Ah, yes, with the cubes, we gotta stick them together, don't we, friends? Hmm, okay. So, put my cubes up here. Do I have enough cubes yet? How do you know? Oh, there's still some pencil left. Okay, so I'm going to add a couple more on here. Now, what do you think? Is it done? Why not? I've got a little tip of that pencil I haven't covered up yet, don't I? Remember, what rule am I not following yet? Not that first one. Just start at the beginning and end at the end. Oh, i got to pop it on there really good. Okay, now what? Am I got it? Yes, I'm starting at my end. I'm ending at my end. How many cubes long? What I like about the cubes that they stick together and then I can count them easier. How many cubes do I have? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine cubes long. I'll use a different color. All right, so it's seven tiles, but nine cubes. Hmm, interesting. Why do you think I have a different, why do you think I have a different number in those? Hmm, same pencil. What do you notice? There are more, not more cubes than tiles to take up that pencil. What do you know about the size of those of those units? Hmm. If I look at the length, let's see if I can hold that up for you guys to see it. If I look at the length, what do you notice about that? The tile's a little bit longer than that cube, isn't it? Hmm. That's interesting, isn't it? 
Hmm. Let's try another one. You ready? Okay. This time we're going to measure this crayon. That's right. The crayon. Now guess what, guys? I'm going to tell you the same thing I told you before. Just like my unsharpened pencil helped you measure the pencil I had up here, take a look at my crayon. If you can find a nice, beautiful crayon, you can measure that same thing, and it's the same length as the crayon I have up here. So I want you first, we're gonna measure it with tiles, okay? So how many tiles long is my crayon? Let's remember these rules of measurement. Start at the beginning and end at the end. Leave no gaps. Use the same unit. We're gonna use, you're gonna use those tiles first. No overlapping. Measure in a straight line. Thumbs up on your tummies when you are ready. Huh. Okay. Ready? I'm going to start at the end of my crayon. Going in my straight line, just like I'm seeing on y'all's papers. We've got to make sure that we are not leaving any gaps. Can I stop yet? Not quite. Mm. Okay. So, how long is the crayon? Did you guys find this too? The crayon is four tiles long. About. I'm going to write about four tiles long. It's not exactly four tiles long, because look, got a little space there, right at the end of our crayon. So if we were gonna be exact, we might say three and a half, but we're just gonna say about four. It's not exact, it's close to. Now, I want you to find um, some, I want you to use, you can use your cubes again, but we're going to use my jumbo paper clips. Yeah. Mm hmm. Now, you could even use, if you don't have jumbo paper clips, you could use some little paper clips, okay? And would serve the same purpose, okay? Now, how many paper clips long is my crayon? Let's take a peek, okay? There's a paper clip. Hmm. And here's a paper clip. Huh. Do I need to put any more paper clips on there? No. Are they in a straight line? Yeah. Are they starting at one end and ending at the other end? They are. Are there any gaps? They're not overlapping, following all my rules. And when I do that, the crayon is only how many paper clips long? Two paper clips long. Huh, this is interesting, my friends. What do you notice about this information? Now we can use other, other units of measure too, but let's take a peek at this. So the pencil was seven tiles long, but nine cubes long. Hmm. Now, when I look at my cube, is it the biggest unit of measure? the in-between unit of measure, or the smallest unit of measure? Is it smaller or bigger, shorter or longer than the inch tile? It's a little smaller, isn't it? Hmm. My cube is a little smaller than my inch tile. Not much but a little bit, isn't it? In fact, I'm gonna move it a little different because I think that sometimes that little knobby at the end 
makes us think it's longer, but we don't actually, that knobby is just, is not part of its length, is it? So we're gonna put that down so that you can see that extra little space right there. Everybody see that space? Now, what about this paper clip? Woo! Where should that go? Should it go up here? Is it smaller than the paper than the cube or bigger than the cube? Bigger than the cube. Is it smaller than the one inch tile or longer than the one inch tile? Longer than the one inch tile. Look how long that baby goes. Holy guacamole. But we need a very few of these, only two. We need a four of these to measure that same thing. And I bet you, if we use our cubes, what do you think would happen? Will we need more cubes or less cubes? Let's make a prediction. More cubes or less cubes to measure our crayon? Mmm. Why do we think there might be more cubes? Oh, okay, so it takes more of them. Well, four definitely does not cut the mustard, does it? What about five? Ah, so the crayon is five cubes long. Five cubes, only four tiles, and only two paper clips. I am so intrigued, my friends. Today, in your independent practice, you're gonna have a chance to do the same thing that we just did. We're gonna actually measure the same objects, but we're gonna measure them using different units. And I want you to look and see, do you notice something funny about when you're using different measure, do different, different units? Does it take more of some units and less of others? like what we just noticed today. See if you start to notice a pattern. What kind of units do you need more of? What do you need less of? We're gonna to come together tomorrow and do another lesson and find some items around the house to measure and be jotting these notes down. And then we're gonna see if we can come to something really cool as mathematicians. I can't wait to see you practicing these. Remember, look for your patterns and remember, also, that the unit that you're using is whatever you're using to measure, whether it's tiles, paper clips, cubes, maybe it's toothpicks or ear cleaners, okay? Anything around your house that you can use to measure, but pay close attention of which ones are longer or shorter and look for those patterns. Happy measuring, second grade. I'll see you tomorrow.